Did you know you need abs to get good handwriting? Abs and glasses. And you need to be able to do crap walks. If you can't do that, don't watch this video. Of course I'm just kidding, you don't need anything to get good handwriting, but there are a couple of things that might help. And this video is all about improving your posture, because it all starts with the way you let energy leave your body and flow onto the paper, sort of. So to prove that I'm a great example uh, for you to follow, here's my writing posture. Well, that's actually a quite a good example of a bad posture. So let's take a look at the things you need to be aware of to uh, improve your posture very quickly and um, the things you need to watch out for. What's a poor posture? Well, as you can see, leaning forward, resting your head in your non-dominant hand, cramping up in your neck and shoulders is not good for writing, not using your spare hand to stabilize the paper in front of you, for, for, for example, letting it hang from your side. And uh, maybe your wrist and, and, and elbow are at an uncomfortable angle. Lots of people tend to write like this. And um, not, not that you can't, but you probably will write better if you don't. Just a quick word of caution, don't get all self-aware about your writing posture after watching this video, because the most important thing is that you write and write a lot and enjoy it. So don't be very rigid about it and have this posture regime from now on uh, and say, I can only write if I sit straight. No, 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 no. No, just write like you would naturally and maybe keep a couple of these tips in mind um, in the back of your mind and like correct yourself sometimes if you notice. So number one is the workspace and the most important items are your chair and your desk and you want to make sure that these are properly uh, aligned so that the height is correct and it's very easy to know if you have the proper height uh, for the chair it's just if you place your feet flat on the floor and your knees are at a comfortable 90 degree angle roughly right you're not a robot or something so um, that's that's a sign your chair is at the right height. Then the writing surface, you want um, your elbow to be relaxed. So my forearm rests on the desks now and my, my shoulder is low and relaxed and my neck is relaxed. And that means the writing desk is at the right height. So if those two line up, you're very good. Also the chair, you don't want it to uh, get in the way. So get a chair without armrests. A lot of people have um, desk chairs with all these rests surrounding them, which is great if you're calling all day or something, making phone calls. But if you're writing, you want to be able to move the elbow and forearm freely. So number two is your actual posture. So you want to sit up straight and also relax, not very tense or something, just very relaxed. And uh, you want to be uh, relaxed in the pelvis so you want to release the hips and make sure your lower back is upright but also relaxed so you need a bit of core support for this and well you could do crab walks as i said but you don't have to just make sure to walk a lot that's a very good tip actually i'm, I'm not kidding you want the legs to be relaxed and uh, sort of parallel to each other again you're not a robot or anything so don't cramp yourself into all kinds of strange uh, postures and angles, but just make sure they're firmly placed and support your your weight. It's like a support point for you. And uh, your elbows should be even with the desk surface. So as we said, that's the right height for the chair. And then uh, your arm, your forearm rests on the desk. The elbow sticks out just a tiny tad. So we tackled how to sit. The next thing is your hand and this a lot about the hand when writing, obviously. But it's not rocket science. You want your forearm and your wrist to be aligned. Um, so your shoulder will make this small, small angle. Um, I guess you could say your arm is at 10 to 12 position. And um, that's the natural way your arm wants to fall. So just let it be like that. 
and make sure the forearm and the wrists are aligned and your pen is actually like um, an extension of that line. So just point the tip of the pen aligned with, well, the line running from your, the tip of your elbow to your, to your finger. So you want the hand to be relaxed and to move freely. And if you find you have to press down real hard on your pen, you will strain up from there on out up to the elbow, to the shoulder, to the neck, uh, and you will find that you cramp up throughout your body very quickly. So if you find you have a very uh, hard to, uh, pen to, uh, that's hard to write with, just get a very wet pen, like a fountain pen, or a fine liner or anything, and uh, make sure you don't have to press too hard. And if you wanna find out what the best pen for you is, the pen type, I've made a video comparing six different pen types, and I'll put it, no, I'll put it right there. So I only have two tips for the the, the writing service. Um, you want to place your paper not straight in front of you, you want it to be a bit off to the side. Why? Because you want to see what you write. So if you're right-handed, you place the paper just off right and you place the paper at a slight angle, like a 30 degrees angle to the edge of your desk because your forearm, when you write, it has this natural writing line because of the, well, your elbow pivots, right? So your writing line goes a bit like this. So if you place your paper in, at a slight angle, it allows you to um, write very naturally and it, it lets your forearm uh, make the writing line. If you're a lefty, just mirror that angle to your left and also place the paper a bit to your to your left. So make sure your hand isn't in the way uh, of you seeing what you're actually writing. That's very important. My last tip is very obvious, but people tend to, I tend to forget, let's be, I tend to forget. Take breaks. So whenever you feel strain, uh, some sort of cramping up, that evolves slowly. It starts very small, like with pressing down uh, hard on your pen. You get this cramp in your, your hand here and it runs through your forearm and you get this weird angle maybe going and then it runs through your shoulder and your neck and now you are frowning and have a headache. So if you feel strain coming up just and you notice it, just take a quick break, one minute break, stop writing for a second. What are the reasons for bad posture? Well there are a couple, um, some you might not consider when you think of bad posture, but for example, bad eyesight. If you have bad eyes or you need glasses to properly read, maybe you're slouching because of your bad eyes. So make sure you have good visibility. Of course, the incorrect table height or chair height is always a problem for many people. Uh, so make sure to invest in uh, a good writing desk, I guess. If you have a weak core, that could uh, cause you to slouch or uh, lean back. You don't want that. If you are very tired, you also tend to have a bad posture throughout the day. So also with writing. And if you have the wrong pen, you will definitely have problems cramping up. So get a good pen. And um, that's about it. So if you tackle those five tips, you will be just fine. You have a great posture you will see your handwriting improve and also you will notice that you are able to write for longer periods of time which is good because that means you improve even faster so on that bombshell if you want more handwriting tips and you like this channel please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe it means the world to us and every subscriber counts so jump aboard and tag along so on that bombshell i say write on and let's break it